you taught me while I have a heartbeat Even ripped apart the will that I've got sin Bring the bow. Now we gotta throw hands Bring the bow. Even standing no chance Bring the bow. What's going on, DSG? It's your boy Donna Bradley back at y'all another video. Today we've got Egress thinks he's an Elden Ring boss because he fucking was. Uh, we got was this Kevi Supreme? If I if I pronounce that wrong, y'all gotta y'all gotta let me know. Kevi Supreme, y'all y'all gotta let me know how, how that works. You know, in in the, in the comment area. But yo, this was this was a lit episode, bro. I ain't even gonna hold you. I was down like watching this. I was like, damn. This is getting boxed up, fam. Yo, homie really did come out like that Elden Ring motherfucker. Like, yo, over here. Like, what did you think this was? You thought this was what you th what you thought this game was, bro? You come in the mock, say what now? Like, there was they was getting active, and I was here for that. That's that's yeah, we in here. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there, social media. We knew that ain't further, but don't. Three, two, one, click. Jin who even managed to kick bro in the neck. But damn, that kick awoken bros in the dog because he started to crash out. And Igor started bouncing that man Jin who like a basketball. That part, bro, that was so critical. I feel like this is just like the intro to what we got going on. I'm not yeah, look, maybe, but did you Sends him flying and followed up with a dynamic injury. Die. Bro, really think you guys think so? Yo. Oh, yeah. yeah. You see it? Igor's looking like an Elden Ring boss. You already know I had to cover this fight. And with having read the manga, I've been waiting for this episode to drop, but hey. Enough rambling. Grab your golden yeah, that Oreos and ping lemonade. Okay. Them shits. Fuck. Now on with the heat. So, Jin, who is getting ready to tackle oh, a job? Because like that. that showed up after he... I know we've been on this channel before. We've been acting this way before, have we? Maybe? I don't know. There's, okay, there's a few doing this now. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole little thing. I love it. I'm here for it. You know what I'm saying? I love the comedy reviews and things like that. But I don't I don't think I've heard that intro. But all right, let's go. <laughs> Uh, now on with the he. So Jin Hu is getting ready to tackle a job quest that showed up after he reached level 40 from the last raid he finished. And with the notion that he'll get stronger from this important event, he accepts and heads into the <laughs> gate. So as bro, <laughs> why you sound like that? <laughs> Head into the gate. I know it's for comedic purposes. It's working. <laughs> it's, 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 I'm losing it from, from the thing. I'm just like, oh, hey, what's about to happen next? The notion that he'll get stronger from this important event, he accepts and heads into the gate. So as bro walks through the castle, he comes across an armor type beast. And with that, it was time to get active. So bro wasted no time in Blitz tonight, but that had no effect. So the knight tries to boom bro, but he blocks it and weaves its attack. And pulls back up trying to pierce the knight's armor, but that had no effect. So now bro on the defensive showing he's leaving as you certified. <laughs> it got me thinking of Pokemon that had it had no effect. <laughs> Yo. <coughs> oh man. I, I know we had to I know we reacted to something over here before, but I just I don't remember this <laughs> this kind of presentation. <laughs> <laughs> oh man armor but that had no effect so now bro on the defensive showing he's weave nation certified and jin who recalls dealing with an enemy like this before so he puts his weapon up and rips the knight's head off but bro ain't done yet the other knight saw how he bodied bro in a 1v1 so they pulled up deep ready to jump his ass but jin who made light work of him ready to jump his ass like yo we out here nigga what's up smooth criminals nigga what's good <laughs> Bro in a 1v1, so they pulled up deep ready to jump his ass. But Jin Hu made light work of him too. Like, bro, that's embarrassing. Like, imagine pulling up on your ops thinking you about to slide for bro. But he do y'all dirty as well. But suddenly more enemies popped up that seem- I'll go ahead and say that would probably make you feel very, very strange about the activities you've taken in life that 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 have presented you with this outcome. Because, first of all, you shouldn't be jumping people. You know what I mean? So, for you to do that- and then y'all all get, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, I'm not even religious, but that, that's God. That's somebody, something, something ethereal is trying to speak to you. And you need to listen. Whether, what, no matter what you believe, something in the ether is talking to you saying, stop it. <laughs> 
games to reflect his past enemies. And bro throwing hands while others spamming at bro from a distance. Like bro, let him box. And I'm pretty sure y'all can tell I'm trying to speed through this because I'm ready to cover Jin Hu's fight with the final boss, Igris. And not to mention, I started to work on this late as hell. It's 6.30 right now. I'm trying to get this out today. But anyway, <laughs> see off screens, all of them grind getting a lot time. of items in the process time. and even equipped armor. So now Jin Hu makes it to the final boss and Igris starts to walk from behind a pillar. Like bro, was Igris really standing there behind the pillar the entire time? <laughs> Just waiting for bro to pull up? Now that's D1 dedication. Bro. <laughs> slide that gorilla slide shit waiver, bro, to fill up. But yeah, homie. You know what I'm saying? Homie rocked up in your crib. You got to understand. Like, they exist for whatever reason. They exist. You know what I'm saying? The portal open up. So you got to understand. The only way you can think about it right now, not having read any mangas or nothing, knowing nothing, from right now, what just happened was a nigga just hit a slick little beanie into your crib. Right? Right? And started killing niggas. That's all you got. That's all you got to go on. Like, nigga, why is you in here? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just put it in your mind. Them looking out. Like, why this man really just walk up in our castle and start ending? Like, bro, like, and that was Jin Woo's purpose. He went in there to kill niggas. I don't care what you want to say. Points, stats, armor, all that good shit. Y'all want to dress around it. He went in there to commit murderous acts against people that ain't done shit to him. That's what he went in there for. <laughs> So Igris had to lay it down. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, let's go. Bro couldn't wait to pull off that dramatic ass entrance. But yeah, after Jin Hu finished glazing Igris, it was now time to get active. <laughs> that one slash from Igris got that man Jin Hu shook. But Igris like, hold your horses, there's more where that came from. Bro, and tries to boom bro shit. And look at that Zoro type effect on his slashes. Man. I know they say Zoro type effect, but on God, it had me thinking of like Virgil on the Devil May Cry shit. <laughs> It's to boom, bro. Shit. And look at that Zoro type effect on his. Just with slashes. the way that the things Man, with the What a dog. So Igris knocks Jin Hu back, faking him out with projectiles, and Sun Bro flying again. And while all nah, this was. So you gotta understand what they tried to show you right here. Knocks Jin Hu back, faking that, him out with. You see, homie, you in a POV of flying through the air right now. As in, my man's is airborne. He's airborne. You seen homie on the floor. Over there, hold on, just for the people in the back. Flashes, man, what a dog. So Igris knocks Boom, all right, bang, he's going. Back, faking him out. He see, see, Igris over there, he throwing shit. You see that as you flying through the air because you're that way now. You're that way. With projectiles. Comes, you see, you see, you hit the, he there, he looking at you like, what's up? Been a minute, how, how you doing? Like. I would be having thoughts, and he was. He was righteously having thoughts in this moment because it ain't make no fucking sense for this motherfucking NPC to be running shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I think it's the final boss. It's the boss round. It's supposed to be going. You know what I'm saying? But he he ain't think it was gonna be like that. You know what I mean? So you got to imagine he ain't even gone through the fire one yet with the castle and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? He over here. He over here with 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 that shit. And he he did you seen that? He I bro, I'd have had I'd have had something to think about. I'd have had a few things to think about. Like, you can't just be knocking me into the air and then speed dashing to where I'm at before I hit the air. You need to give me half a second, hit the flow, get up. Like, partially compose myself. To something to, I was in airborne just now, you asshole. Like, okay. All right, cool. Man, what a dog. So Igris knocks Jin Hu back, faking him out with projectiles, and Sun Bro flying again. And while all this was going on, Jin Hu was steady glazing, bro. So Jin Hu trying to get in the mix, but Igris a master of Weave Nation. And the attack he did manage to land had no effect. Like, bro, no you really effect. going out sad right now. No so effect. Igris ready to clean his shit. But Jin Hu blocks it, and they clash on some Goldie Roger and Whitebeard. Tai but Jin Hu gets overpowered. So he puts back his weapon, thinking he can do damage to the big homie. And Igris is like I bet I'm gonna match the energy let's throw hand I loved that part I thought that part was so sick homie was like all right because he was thinking about how he was running against the the the, the snake thing or whatever whatever he's like I do sometimes if I can't get it like that then we got to do it this way it was like nigga do you know where we at bro do you know all this certifications we got oh if you really want to run that like it's good i was i slice you in half it was it's easier i ain't gonna lie to you but i don't but if you really want to do it like this i feel like this is even worse nigga because you're gonna feel these i could cut your head off real quick but all right nigga what's good then <laughs> 
Ooh, damage to the big homie. And Igor's like, I bet I'm gonna match the energy. Let's throw hands. So Igor pulls up fast as hell, slamming bro. Damn! To the ground, throws crazy. him to the wall and pulls up to continue the violence. I'm sorry, I just started crying right there. Like, I, this right here, this this whole sh right here, this uncoffer. This on Koffa. This on, well, it's all Koffa. Like I said, Jun Woo came into his house doing crazy shit to him and his people. But damn, you the one who put the sword away. You 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 put the knife away first. And it, my man hands still up. <laughs> Boy ain't even registered the gut check yet. He's still in defensive positions. <laughs> nigga, what is you block? Like you, you just this is not the square up phase. This is the do something phase. This nigga whole feet is in the air. And he slammed that nigga into the ground so hard. That's his hell slamming. Uh, just, just, just eat that. Just eat. Okay. Go to the ground. Throws him to the wall oh and God. pulls up to continue the violation. So Jin Hu thought he was Sonic and started running around Icarus trying to outspeed bro. But like bro, how can you even do that when he's a master of Weave Nation? So Icarus trips Jin Hu cause bro is doing too much moving. Like sit your ass down. <laughs> so Icarus bro sends Jin Hu flying much. and throws rubble at bro. And he not about to give Jin Hu any breathing room. At Pulling all. up on bro midair. And since he wanna be like Sonic. That, that's he that's the thing. The Sonic rings out of bro. <laughs> the Sonic rings out of bro. Yo, this man's like that with the blitz. That was the thing about Eagers, bro. The blitz was crazy. Niggas was pressure whole time. Niggas said there is no halftime. There is no whistle, nigga. There's none of that, nigga. I gave you a minute to you drop the knife. All right, we had it. Like, let's go. <laughs> Pulling up on bro midair. And since he wanna be like Sonic, he kicked the Sonic rings out of bro. But Jin Hu still got fight in him. And I ain't gonna lie, them niggas was really scrapping. Jin Hu even managed to kick bro in the neck. But damn, that yeah, kick awoken bro's in the dog cause he started to crash out. And Igor started bouncing that man Jin Hu like a basketball. That was the most crucial shit that entire fight as I was watching it. Bro literally became a playground toy right then and there a wacky inflatable arm flailing ah oh, shit what dang lost it in my head <laughs> lost it in my punching bag <laughs> he became one of them good that whole oh my god just one more time one more time like he hit my homie in the neck and like it made me think you know how the bosses have the half health and they transform type of shit what he must have a glass jaw or something because like that boy got hit one time, lost his mind. He's like, you thought shit was sweet? Because <laughs> he started to crash out. And Igor started bouncing that man Jin Hu like a basketball. Sends him flying and followed up with a dynamic injury. Bro really think he got sensei. But yeah, Igor catches bro by the leg, slamming him into the ground and tossed bro to the wall. And Going pulls up, dragging bro head on the wall like Broly did. That Goku. part. And had that, man that part. Yeah, I'm sorry. That is a crucial move. I thought it was dope how they did that callback in the Broly movie to when you know, Broly did it go hunting and all the niggas. But yeah, when he just grab home, he just, duh, 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 like damn, like why is it all of that? <laughs> like, Egress was about ass whooping time. It was pure momentum with this nigga. All right. And Jin Hu's sitting on the throne, which is W foreshadowing, by the way. If you know, you know. And I like oh, that references you know, you are being know. added to pay know. respect to the goat of Kira Toriyama. So Igris gets ready to boom, bro, but the armor of plot kicked in. And the Jin Hu stabs Igris. Oh, tell me that that wasn't just. This is pure plot. Pure plot. <laughs> like, it was all they could give him. It was all they could give him based on what the hell. And you know what, it, for me, what it is hack wise? It's because normally, like, in a game, right, you're doing this, you can't really do something that acute, you know what I'm saying, fighting a boss, you know what I mean? Um, but the stab in the eye, <laughs> like, okay. Like, I think in a lot of games, if we could do that, that'd be like, <laughs> numero uno, ah, eye jab, nigga, like, what's up? <laughs> So Igris gets ready to boom, bro, but the armor of plot kicked in. And Jin Hu stabs Igris in the eye and starts to drag Igris to the other side. Well, I mean, of the that, that is actually a, a, a thing with homie now, believe it. That's what he did to the, the, the big dog thingy. The eyes. He, he be, yeah, he go for the eyes. He's a soft spots. And Igris tries to clap back by attempting to use Jin Hu's weapon against him. But nah, the weapon can't change owners and spawns back into Jin Hu's inventory and into his hand. And with that, Jin Hu pierced right through Igris' armor. But that wasn't enough, so he nah, fully he crashed out and boomed Igris yeah. for good. Well, I mean, not for good, for good. Like I said, if you know, you know. And yeah, there was the fight between Song Jin. So we got foreshadowing, so he gonna, all right, okay. <laughs> 
Wood and Ingress and all its greatness. Now, with that being said, whether you're from TikTok or YouTube, don't forget to drop a like and follow and subscribe <laughs> in the B. We move. Also, right. I'm taking recommendations, bro, so hit the comments. And <laughs> Yo, hey. That was dope. You watch that dope shit here. That shit was facts. Yo, this man's presentation is hilarious. <laughs> we on chill, smooth, laid back. We is. This man got that that the, the Sunday night or Sunday like afternoon R&B radio voice. We on some, or the, the late night. We on some da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, nah, the episode was crazy. Um, I I think yeah, Egris was a dope character and given what was said seeing as the, i assume you're gonna come back at some point i would i would more than more be more than happy to see boy get active again but that's a take be sure to like be sure to subscribe follow me on that there social media and i catch y'all next event peace